Your strength is magnificent during this time. Your strength was shown in the area everyone thought you was weak in and that they are now confused on how you rose. See, when you did your moves, it was very calculated. You are wise beyond your years. People came against you plotting and planning to take you down, make you do things that you didn't want to do, try to control your life and destiny, try to control who you were as a person. But during the times of the areas they thought you were weak, that's when your strength was manifested because of the God in you. Your faith got you where you are today. You are flourishing for the better. You, If you're not flourishing right now, you will be flourishing because God got better things in store for you. These people, when they plotted against you, they didn't know what they were doing. They thought that you was going to fall off. They thought you was going to be miserable. They thought you was going to be in a bad place because they plotted against your life. Oh, they monitored your life. They try to send people after you. They thought it was a joke coming against you, a lot of people. But they realized that they messed up. They are all realizing that they messed up when it came to you. When they thought you were weak, that's when you were made strong. And now everybody's confused about how you rose out of the situation they put you in. They don't understand. They are utterly confused because they don't understand how one person like you can keep rising and rising and becoming better after they plot against your life and put you in not so good situations that you weren't supposed to make it about of. Oh, everybody's confused. They're baffled at where you are right now. They're baffled at your life. They baffled at what God is doing for you. They questioning what God is doing for you. Some of these people even question themselves during this time. They're wondering, okay, why does God have favor on you and not them? Some of these people are wondering that about you. The ones that plot against your life, the ones that mocked you, made fun of you and treat you like you was nobody. They are wondering, why does God favor you and not them? Oh yes, it's bringing out insecurities in these people. It's bringing out all manners of insecurities, self-doubt, self-hate for some people. They don't understand where you are compared to where they are. See, for you, you was always the underdog to these people. You wasn't meant to go far. No, that's not the plan that these people have for you. You was meant to stay the underdog in their mind. You wasn't supposed to grow into the person you are today. You wasn't supposed to change for the better. In their mind, you were supposed to have change for the worse. You wasn't supposed to go on and become something great with yourself. You wasn't supposed to have a platform. You wasn't supposed to have followers. You wasn't supposed to rise and go to the next level. You wasn't supposed to be in a higher place than you were 10 years ago. Not in their mind because they thought so lowly of you the whole time. But what God did was because God has a sense of humor. He surprised your naysayers. He surprised your haters. He surprised your enemies and rose you up for his glory. And this is where you are today. You're not worried about these people that hated on you, that plotted against you, that spoke all manners of evil against you in your life and did things against you because they felt like they could. God chastised these people and moved you forward. They're not going to tell you that they've been chastised by God from coming up against you. No, who will say that? They are in utter embarrassment about what they did to you. They are embarrassed and they don't even know what to think no more. They thinking twice about coming against a person like you again because you rose so beautifully after the aftermath of the situation. You rose so beautifully. <laughs> and they're going to continue to hate. They're going to continue to wonder. But that's not your concern any longer. Because you are in a better place. You're feeling good. You're feeling great. And you're just not worried about losers that want to plot against you 
and treat you like the underdog the whole time. The truth is, you was never the underdog. You was always top dog. You were the top dog. And they not understand how they thought you were, they underestimated you so well, but you were very calculated on how you moved. You were smarter than what they thought you were. That's why they're baffled and confused. You are much smarter than the foolishness they wanted to put you in. You were much smarter than the situation that they had against you. Even though they didn't tell you anything, God was right there telling you everything that people were saying about you, people was plotting on you. God was telling you everything so you can move forward in peace and leave these people behind. So when he finally do start blessing you, they can't have a hand in your blessings because God know and you know now that these people wasn't really for you. So they're going to have to wonder. They're going to have to hope. They're going to have to be shocked. They're going to have to be baffled about your life because you are rising for better. And you did not need the foolishness that these people were so hard trying to put you in. You had better things to do with your time and energy and you just didn't need their level of foolishness. Let haters be haters. There's a particular song from 50 Cent. I normally don't listen to secular music, but when he first came out, this was a nice song that everybody liked back in the day. I think it's called In the Club, I don't know. It was a nice song. But on one of those lyrics, he said, go ahead and switch the style up. And if they hate, then let them hate and watch that money pile up. This is where you are right now. Let these people hate and you continue to be successful because the best revenge is truly your money and success. More success than money, but money gonna come along with it if you're walking in your purpose that God got for your life because God wants to bless you in every area of your life, including your finances, glory, hallelujah. So these people are going to hate. If they hate, Switch the style up on them. But if they hate, then let them hate and watch the money pile up. Your haters make you great. In other words, what he was saying was, your haters do make you great because your haters push you and thrust you upwards spiritually and even physically. And they should cause you to push harder because all the unnecessary hate and plots they sent your way. But that should make you greater because that should push you forward into your purpose. And that's what your haters did for you. Indirectly, they did it because they didn't know they were doing that. But God used their hatred towards you and how they felt about you as your enemy to make you grow on a spiritual journey and make you rise spiritually. And you rose. So they are very confused about how did you rise and how are you risen out of the situation they put you in. You risen because it was meant for you to rise. That was your life destiny. That was your life calling. Can't no hater stop the blessings that God got for you. Can't no hater stop the mission that God got over your life. Even though they tried, they can't stop it. They tried so hard to put you in that low place, keep you as the underdog, treat you like you was nobody, and now you're pushing them out the way and treating them like they nobody. Oh, it comes with it. What goes around comes around. What goes around truly does come back around. And now you're up. And when it's up, it's up. And they're down. And when they down, they're down. And they can't do nothing about where God got you right now because God helped you get to where you are along with your faith and your work you put in to get you to where you are. You are in a new season. You have learned the life lessons you needed to learn. They were painful lessons. You repented of your sins and God is changing you forevermore. So be thankful, be happy about where God got you on your spiritual journey. They wasn't meant to be with you and this is the reason why you are alone where you are. Let these people be let these people just wonder. They're going to wonder about you. They're going to hope and wish that they can apologize, 
tell you they sorry for mistreating you, treating you horribly. Because a lot of these people are sorry. They're sorry, but they're not going to tell you they're sorry. So let God deal with them. And if they want to apologize, okay, you can forgive them. Yes, that's what God wants you to do, forgive them. But you ain't got to let them back in your energy. If they already showed you a snake move, don't be so surprised if they will do it again. Unless the Holy Spirit come in there and change their heart for the better towards you, they're going to continue to do the same stuff they've been doing. So forgive them and move forward and let them wonder why you keep rising into the purpose that God got for you. You wasn't supposed to make it here. You wasn't supposed to be where you are in their mind. But God got you here because these people had no power over you and your life destiny. The only person that had that power over your life and your destiny was God himself. These people don't have that type of power. Yet they thought they did. So let them continue to hate. Let them continue to wonder. Let them continue to hope and wish. Let them continue to be disgusted with themselves for coming against you for so long. And you still rose after everything they plotted. Let them be utterly embarrassed by it. That wasn't your problem that these people chose to behave in this type of way. This is the reason why you're in a new place. Because you didn't behave like that like they did. But they chose that. So let God deal with these people forevermore. You're in your new calling. You're in your new destiny. And God said he's proud of you. Because you could have been a bad person because of all of it. But you chose to grow and flourish for the better. So keep growing. You got more things to do. You got more people to meet. And keep making this world a better place. By the power of the Holy Spirit that's in your life. Despite what hater... What foe or what enemy want to come against you at a time as this? You are strong. They are weak. Your strength was made strong while they were weak when they thought you was the weak one and they were strong. You were the strong one. And that's the reason why you survived it. You survived what should have took you out. But you're still here because your strength was made manifest in the area that these haters or these people plotting against you thought you were weak in. So jokes are back on them. Jokes are no longer on you. It's on them. And you have nothing to worry about because you are in a new season through it all. And that's the prophetic message I have for a royal one. Until next time. Bye-bye.